Hello there! So I was on the internet the other day and I was just scrolling through, you know, looking at really weird things and then all of a sudden I came across this product that made me cringe. Welcome to the brand new series called Cringy Products where we test out some of the most cringe-like beauty products out there on the interweb. Basically, this is a series that's gonna make you cringe. However your cringe is, is it like this? Is it like this? Is it? Uh, you're gonna cringe throughout this series. Are you ready? Today's guest is eyebrow wigs or stick on eyebrows. What the heck is the first thing I thought when I saw this? Thumbs up for fleeky eyebrows or cringy objects because the world is full of cringy moments. Matter of fact, if you are in tune with your cringy side and you want more cringy moments, check out my second channel, my vlog channel. That's where we get personal, intimate, and deep in with uh, some of the most awkward and cringiest moments of my life, including VidCon. I got to meet a ton of you. Down over the channel, if I did meet you, you're probably on the vlog. Thank you so much for coming up and saying hi to me and Dennis. Honestly, it was like oh, my, my heart fluttered. Thank you so, so much. Also in this new series, if you tweet me a suggestion for the video, I will put it in the video if I choose your idea and I'll also give you a shout out. So make sure you guys stay connected with me on my Twitter and send me some fun ideas, some cringe worthy ideas. Okay? Alright, let's do this. These are the brows. These are my brows now. Whoa. Alright, so this product makes me cringe for multiple reasons. I mean, first of all, this is human hair. Second of all, this was quite on the expensive side if you ask me. This was $14.50. 14. This was $14.50. I bought it off of eBay. It did take some time to come in through the mail and some of the hairs are actually kind of falling off onto the plastic, which is just beautiful. I did think this was a very innovative product. I wanted to test it out for myself. I mean, I personally don't really mind filling in my brows, but uh, it's kinda cool. If you guys have ever worn a wig, you know it's kinda fun to play around with wigs. Maybe this will become a new thing, like playing around with different brows, colors, arches, slopes, I don't know. This says number two. I'm not quite sure what that means. There's only one color to choose from, from the site. So I have no idea. I'm gonna do some really weird things with this. I'm gonna smell these brows, okay? Because I'm like, I don't know. I just wanna know what, what, what does this smell like? Huh. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. This kinda looks like something else. So this is what they look like when you open them up. As you can see, there are some hairs like already kind of falling out. They pretty much do look, this one looks kind of bald. Did I get like a cheap version? So yeah, this is what they look like up front. So you guys get a little idea. Like they are just weird people. Right, comment down below if you feel the cringe. Comment, feel the cringe, feel, feel the cringe people. I feel it. This comes with instructions. This does say how to apply an eyebrow wig. I never thought I'd do this with my life. Uh, okay. Okay, so basically it says remove any excess oils from your brow area. I completely have nothing. With proper care and use, fake eyebrows can last for several weeks before needing to be replaced. That doesn't sound hygienic. I don't know. I don't know. I doubt these fake brows can last for several weeks. I don't know, it's weird. All right, so to apply these eyebrow wigs, all you're gonna need is some like eyelash adhesive. A little weird, I know. I'm pretty sure you thought you would never do that in your life. Neither did I. You're gonna need some scissors just in case you need to cut these babies bad boys hairiness. Ew. Then lastly, you're just gonna need a white pencil to basically draw out where the eyebrow is gonna be. So let's do this. All right, so in the instructions, it says to use a white pencil and basically draw out where the beginning of your brow starts. So there you go, and there you go. All right, then it says to use a ruler to compare the length you want to your brows to the length of your wig. So you can trim it, blah, blah, blah. I measured this out and I got approximately five inches, almost five and a half inches. Right, this is approximately six and a half centimeters so I got a lot of trimming to do. All right, so when you rip this off, it does come off quite nicely. There's like a little bit of adhesive holding it down. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of pretend, lay down and see if I like it. Part to me looks a little too rounded. Mine are a little bit straighter up. All right, so I just snipped it right here. And when you do this, you have to be careful because some of the hairs are attached to this side, so you don't want to be too bald. But basically, this is just like attached to a little neck. It's a bit too hairy on the top for my liking, so I'm just gonna snip a little bit more. There's like that little dome, so I gotta snip this part or else it looks a little weird. And then the instructions say to apply a very thin layer of adhesive. It says to the back of the lace eyebrow, or you can just apply one tiny dot for application. You can also apply this onto your natural brow. I would not recommend that. I would hate to be tearing my real brow off. All right, so that plan didn't work, so I just put a lot of dots, like big splurts, splatters of dots, and then just spread it out with my finger, and now it says to put it on for a minute. And gently press on it.
All right, I'm just gonna repeat the same process, cut the wig. I've already cut this portion and I noticed with these brows, there's like that little section where it's kind of bald. And I'm not sure if my natural brows are supposed to cover that, but my brows aren't that big, so I'm gonna have to snip this side also. I would highly recommend using some really small scissors for this step. All right, you guys, ready for the reveal? Dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 da. So my final thoughts on this, wow, girl. Brow gain strong. I never thought I would need my brows to breathe, but I feel like my brows aren't breathing properly, like they are being suffocated. This is pretty similar to my brow shape, except for the fact that this area is just too dark for me. This is the issue. You just feel like your brows are falling off. Like you might be happy and your brows will make you look mad all of a sudden. Overall, I don't really think these are worth it. I don't know, let me know down below. I think it's a cringe-like product though. It just feels weird to think this is real human hair and I'm like touching real human hair. I wanna see if I can still do facial expressions. All right, now I'm gonna take this off. Let's see the removal process of this. Holy <laughs> Oh my God, do not take my real brows away. Oh my God. Leave me a comment down below letting me know your final thoughts on this. From one to 10, how cringy do you think this is having human hair on your own? Eyebrows. Also, let me know if you try it out. Let me know what you think. You guys, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you want to see extra doses of cringiness and weirdness in my life, then check out the blog. Love interacting with you guys. You guys always tell me that I'm one of the people that interacts with you the most, and that makes me so happy because I strive for that every day. I take lots of hours out of my day just to like comment back on Twitter or on Instagram or just spam you guys. Sometimes I just I like to you know stalk you guys. It's, it's the truth. You guys are the best. Remember to live weird or die normal. Bye.